companion. Hi, teacher. Okay, let's do. Um, the page. We're going to do unit seven with you today. Yes, there we go. Okay, we're going to talk about traffic. Let's read here. Um, I learned unit nine. Hi, Owen. How are you? Um, I learned unit nine. Oh, sorry. You have learned unit nine? Mm -hmm. Oh, unit seven. Unit nine. Okay. Here we go. There we go. Okay. Which festival did you choose, Nick? Actually, I chose a Vietnamese festival. Oh, really? Which one did you choose? I choose the elephant race festival in Daklak. I think elephants are fascinating animals. It must be amazing. Amazing to see them raising. Okay, that's interesting. How about you, May? I choose Diwali. It's an indoor festival. Why did you choose it? Well, it's called uh, the Festival of Lights and it's a religious festival. I think candles are so romantic and I love fireworks. There are lots of boats during Diwali. That's a great choice. And you, Fang? Um, I choose La Tomatina. I chose. I chose. I chose. I chose. La Tomatina is held in Spain in a small town called Bunon. It's a seasonal festival to celebrate the tomato harvest. What do you like about it? For one hour, people get to two tomatoes at each order. Throw, 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 throw. Wow, that does sound unusual. Okay, finally, May, May. I chose something. I, I chose something a little different. Is a music festival called a uh, called Burning Man. It helped every year at the end of August. People go to the desert, make a camp and have a party. Wow, that's a new one on me. Sounds fascinating. Okay, I'd like you to write up your reports and hand them in to me by. Um, answer the following questions. Did the teacher expect Nick to choose a Vietnamese festival? Uh, no. Why? Why do you say no? Uh, Oh, really? Which one did you choose? Yes, because she said, oh, really? She was surprised. Oh, really? She was surprised. So she didn't expect him. What do people do to celebrate Diwali? Uh, my. No, the question is, what do people do? To celebrate um, Diwali. How do they celebrate Diwali? There are lots of boat during Diwali. No, you're still not telling me what they do. What do they do to celebrate Diwali? Um, They fire works. 
They have fireworks and they burn candles. Candles are romantic, so they burn candles and they shoot fireworks. That's how they celebrate it. What festival is held in a small town? Mm, I think. Mm. Okay. A la tomatina. In a small town, yes. Um, why does my think her festival is unusual? I don't know. Okay, see if you can find the answer. Why does she think it's unusual? Unusual means it's not what everybody do every day. Uh, there are a lot of boats during Diwali. Say again. There. Why do they? Why do they think it's unusual? Hmm. I don't understand. Tell me about Mai's festival. Um, my festival is called the Festival of Lai and is a religious festival. No, M I. Uh, okay, you read question number four. Read question number four. Why does me think her festival is unusually? Unusual. Now you use your phone and you go see what unusual means. You translate it from English to Vietnamese and you see what unusual is. Unusual is something that you don't do every day. Why is her festival unusual? Now you go find the answer here. Here it says. Ah, uh, ah. Uh... There. Me now think, you find the answer. Meeting um festival little different. Why? Uh it's a music festival called Burning Man. It's have every year at the end of August. People go to the desert, make a camp and have a party. Yes. Okay, now let's go to number five. Read number five. What should the students do after this discussion with the teacher? Um, they write up Discussion. Um, discussion. What must I do after they discussed it? Um, 
they grind up uh, their reports and hand yes, them must... and hand, uh, hand them in to teach. To the teacher, good. Now read number one. Nick chose. Nick chose the festival because he would like this. Uh, would like to see elephant racing, too. Okay, number two. The festival of lie is another name for Diwali. Diwali. Diwali, too. Okay, Festival of Lice. Say it again. Festival, festival of... of Lice. Okay, number two. People two throw. Oh, tomato. sorry, number three. Yes, people uh, throw. People, people throw tomatoes at each other for one day at last. Tomatina, uh, four. And number four. Burning man is half in the desert, too. Okay. Um. Matched religions. Okay. Um, vocabulary. That will be low. Listen to go. We can't listen. Hmm. Carnival is a popular. Oh, where's the words? Okay, let's try this one. What do you think number one is? Uh, is. Mm, water festival. Number two. Mm, tennis. Film festival. And number three. Mm, Ghost day. Okay, number four. Fit. Tet, number five. Uh, Rock and reel. Rock and roll. Number six. Mm, Christmas. Christmas. Number seven. Halloween. And number eight. Easter. Easter. Good. Okay. Hi, Kwan Hang. Hello, teacher. Kwan Hang, you late. Yes. Um, Anian, um, religious. Which festival is religious? Um, Halloween. No, Halloween is not religious. Um, What does uh, there uh, what is releases? If you don't know a word, you go to your phone and you Google English to Vietnamese and you learn yourself these words, okay? Mm -hmm. I will type it for you. Religious. Okay, let me type it for you. Hang on. Religious. Okay. Okay. Which one is religious, do you think? 
Chris, uh, no, Dead and Water Festival. Mm, I don't think Ted is religious, but Christmas and Easter is definitely is definitely religious. Uh, Music I and art. A uh, rock and reel, and Cannes Film Festival. Okay, a uh, Ted and the Water Festival. Seasonal. Okay, and what does superstitious mean? Do you know that word? Yeah. Do you know the word? Uh, same super. Superstitious. Do you know that word? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um. So you say Tate is seasonal. Is Tate not music and art? Um, let me see, I don't know. I don't, I think it's music and art. Uh, you say it's seasonal. Okay. Um and you say the film film festival. Okay, let's say that then. Okay. Um I think Rock in Rio and the Keynes Film Festival are music or art festivals. You number B. Mm, I agree. Which do you think are seasonal festival? I think Christmas and it's the Easter. How about you? I think Halloween and Ghost Day. Okay, let's have a look here. Verb, noun, adjective. Okay, any complete table below is appropriate verbs, nouns, and adjectives. Let me check your answer. Okay, number one. Um, celebration. Okay. Gone, how are you learning? Yes. So then you must stay on. Okay, let's see if Gone Han can do that one. Gone hang number one, the verb is celebrate. What is the noun? Mm. <clears throat> celebration. Celebration. So we've got celebration. Okay. Number two, we've got festival is the noun. Mm. And Ian, what is the verb? Festival. Fest, uh, festival. Festival. And, and the adjective? Uh, Okay, what do you think? Um, Con Hang, what do you think? Mm. Mm -hmm. Number two, I would say festive. It's festive. Yeah. Festive would be the adjective. 
What about number three, parade? Anyan? Um, parade. Uh, mm. I don't know. It's also a parade. Parade is a verb. Parade means to walk. Parade. Number four, cultural. What is a noun for cultural? Bon Hang? Cultural. Uh, I don't know. Honto? What do you think, Anyan? Honto. Say again? Honto. Honto. I don't know that word. Uh... Spell the word. Spell the word so I know what you say. Culture? Is that what you want to say? Yes, culture. Culture. Perform. Performer or what is the noun for perform? Performance. Um, performance. Okay. Okay, here. Carnival. Carnival in Portuguese is a popular in many countries in South America. Words from the table in A. Oh. Okay, we have to use those words. Okay, and Nia, yeah, number one. Um is is popular is a popular festival. Yes. It's a popular festival. Okay, number two, huh? Mm. Two is Celebration, a celebrate. Celebrate. Number three, Anian. Mm, Tauto. Uh -uh. Read the sentence and you can see if it fits there or not. Uh, control. Read the sentence. Read number three. The Rio Carnival is the biggest and most famous with the most lively uh, culture. No. Celebrations. Number four, um, Hang. Mm. The two. Uh. Mm
read number four. Gives people a chance to learn about the true celebratory. You want to learn about the true culture of Brazil. Culture. Mm. Number five, um, Anya. People wear custom and performs. Perform. People wear costumes and perform through the streets and perform. Okay. Number six, um, Kang. Uh, number five, uh, number six, the highlight of the real carnival is the samba parade with thousands of samba performance. performances from from uh, can you roll out? Various samba schools. Okay, number two. In groups, choose a festival, take turns to say the name of the festival, then add an action. Okay. Um, um, A sleep a board machine country receive happen differ okay relax or oh. okay let's have a look here here you stress your word differently um like country but then you have a sleep a broad machine copy Stress on the first syllable, country. Most nouns and adjectives. Okay, most verbs. So when you have a noun or an adjective, you stress on the first syllable, like country. You have exceptions like asleep, abroad, machine. With verbs, you stress on the second syllable, like receive. But then you have exceptions like copy, differ, happen. For example, Gather. Gather has one stress on the first syllable. Gather. Picture. Relax. Artist. Enjoy. Hotel. Lovely. Describe. Rename. Famous. Okay. Um, so stress one first syllable. Um, and Ian, read these words with for me with the syllables uh gather picture relax at this enjoy hotel lovely describe uh rename rename famous yes good job so you will have um gather picture Hotel, lovely, famous. Do you agree? Then you have re, relax. Um, artist, enjoy, describe, rename. Okay, um, let's go here. Hung. 
circle the words with a different stress pattern from the others. Then listen and check. Let's make it bigger. Number one, you've got money, dancer, shopping, balloon. Which one has got a different stress? Huh? Uh, Yeah. Money, dancer, shopping, balloon. Which one has a different stress? Uh... I think we use uh money okay what do you think um anian yes balloon balloon yes because it's money dancer shopping and then you've got balloon so balloon is different what about number two anian um joyful common no, no. happy complex uh it's joyful complete common happy happy i would say happy um hang number 3 Uh, number three is uh, answer. Answer. Prepare. Enter. Answer. Listen. What do you think, Anian? Um, prepare. Prepare. It's prepare. Enter, answer, listen. Number four, Anian. Alone. Alone. Hello. Next one, um, Hang. Uh, fever. Okay. Uh, Tidy, compete, prefer, adopt. What do you think, um, Anian? Adopt. Adopt, prefer, compete, tidy. Adopt. Adopt, prefer, compete, tidy. Tidy. Okay. 
You have to say it out loud and then you can hear the difference more clearly. Read the following sentences and mark the stress syllables in the underlined words. Lynn, listen, check. Okay, read number one out loud, huh? Uh, read the following sentence and mark the stresses syllable in the underlined. No, read number one. We are going to discuss our festival project. Okay, project. Now, where is the stress? Where do you break that word? Mm. Pro. Pro, yes, it's project. Number two, Anian. Um, a loss of dancer. Go to Rio de Janeiro to attend. The Rio Carnival. Okay. A lot of dancers. Now, where is the break for dancers? Uh, dance. Yes. Number three. Number three, uh, answer is asked and music is zig. Answer the uh, phone because they have gone to the music festival. Music, music, okay, grammar. Look at the pictures below. What information would you like to know about this festival? Okay. An adverbial phrase gives extra information about the time, place, manner of an action. Adverbial phrases are made with nouns, prepositions, or infinitives. They can be used to answer different questions. Okay, let's read the examples. And Ian, you can read the time. When? Uh, the festival of the sun is held on June um, 12th, 12th, Held on June 24th. 24th, 12th. Um, place. Let's read place. Taekwang. Place where. The festival is celebrated in Peru. Celebrated. Celebrated in Peru. Good. Okay. Um, Hang. Frequency, how often? Mm. Is every year uh, on, on January? Just, just read the sentence, Hang. Huh? The festival takes place every year. Every year. Uh, so the frequency is every year. It's how often. It's every year. And the end reason why. Uh, people attend their festival for fun. A lot of people. Uh, a lot of people go to Cusco, Peru to attend the festival. Good. Manner. How? Huh? Uh, in a service, a special way, 
No, I can't hear that. So I'll start again. People. People celebrate it in a special way. People celebrate it. Street fairs and live music. Live music. Live. Okay. The Keynes Films Festival. And Yen, you can read here. Where the black is every year. Every year, Cannes hosts its international film festival. Cannes is a busy tourist city in France, but in May, Everything stops for the festival. People take the festival in a very serious way. Film directors, stars, and critics all come critics. to the critics. Critics. critics all come to the festival. A panel of judges, judges, watches, judges, judges. Watch, judges watches. The new films to award prizes, prizes, prizes for the best ones. The biggest prize, prize, is the Palmer Door, which is given to the best, uh, the best film. Best film. Okay. What? Who? Where? When? How often? How and why? Okay. Um now what? What is this festival about, Hang? Uh so festival is tennis. Tennis festival. What is an international film festival? Who? Who is hosting the festival, Anian? Um people take the fest oh no no no. Um who's hosting it? Directors, stars. And critics will come to the festival. No, they're not hosting it. Who's hosting it? Read the first sentence. Every year. Uh, every year, Kenny's host is so international they, film who, festival. They host it. Where do they host it, Hang? Huh? Uh... Is in Sariot Way. Where? Where are they hosting it? If you want to go to this festival, where must you go? Mm. France. France, yes. You must go to France. When is the festival, Anian? Uh, every year. When? Um... um... Ah, uh, May. In May. In May. Con Hang, how often do they have this festival? Uh, mm, it's May or uh, in May every year. Every, how often? Every year. 
how do they have this festival annual? Uh, people take the festival in a very serious way. Um, I would say that they have a panel of judges that comes to judge it. Panel of judges? I just want to see here in man people celebrate it in a special way. You see, it's the manner, it's how. Um, people celebrate it in a special way. I would say here, um, a panel of judges watches a new film to award the best prize. That is how. Uh, or you can say in which manner. You can say you can say it's in a serious way, maybe. Yes. In a serious way. They take this festival a very serious way. Gone hung, why? Uh why do they have this festival? Festival is... Because the big guy is the primal dog. Why? Uh, because the big guy pride is the primal dog. Why do they have it, do you think? Why do they have this festival? Mm. Because the big head pride is hammer down. They have this festival because why do they have the festival? Uh because it is important. What are they trying to do here? Uh A panel of just watches the new film to a worse right. They want the to find the best films, yes? Because they want to find the best films. That's why they bring in some judges. Um, 29, okay. Now, this is the WH questions and an H question in English. What, which, where, when, who, who's, why, and how. Do the types of questions. Who's who's coming to the festival? He's doing an interview for VTV. Can you ma match your questions in the interview's answers? Okay, Con Hang, make a sentence with who. Uh, person make a sentence with who
Uh, Any uh, sentence with who? Uh, uh, every person in in that play Hang, you must make any sentence with the word who. Just make a just make a question. Use the word who and make a question. Uh, who who will come to the festival? Who came to the festival? Okay, and Ian, make a sentence with what? Hmm. Okay, we're going to stop here. Um, I want you both to go practice these words, okay? Okay. Well done, Anian. Good hang. I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone. Thank you, teacher.